I hope you guys enjoyed that fun little car reveal. So yeah, I bought a million dollar Phantom, which is also a dream of mine. Now this right here is a YouTube bold plaque for hitting a million subscribers. So, so we actually got this five months ago and we're already at like 2.5, something like that. So honestly, this is all thanks to you guys. I want to get one of these for the second channel. I want to get one of these for the vlog channel. I want to hit a million subscribers on that channel by the end of the year. You guys will get to see a little bit more of my personal life that I don't really show on my main YouTube channel. And it's also a place where pretty much weekly I'm interacting with fans, doing 10,000 pounds shopping spree for fans, uh, meeting up with fans and taking them sneaker shopping or taking them out partying with me and my friends or just even doing a simple workout. And I'm gonna make it even more interesting. If we hit 200,000 YouTube subscribers in the next week, I'm gonna PayPal one of you $10,000. So all you need to do is subscribe, go comment on the latest video. If we manage to hit the benchmark, then I'm gonna pick one random comment. I'll respond to you, ask for your Instagram. We'll get in touch there and I'll go ahead and send you the money. With all that being said, let me go ahead and open this. <laughs> this is sick. Bro, this is stunning. Wow, 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 wow. Congrats, bro. Couldn't have done it without you. Jeez. I appreciate you, bro. <laughs> this one's for the team, bro. That's pretty. There you go. That's crazy. This one is for the team and for the subscribers. So, as I said, I appreciate every single one of you. It's been... Fuck, it's... It's been a crazy, crazy journey, bro. From being embarrassed when I was 15, because it wasn't really a thing back then, like taking vlog clips in the bus, or like in the gym recording myself, or in the bookstore, and instead just being embarrassed, hoping no one saw the camera, all the way from that to where we are today. It's been a wild ride. <laughs> Process behind boxing, why boxing? Because I feel like, kind of like a video game character, like you level up all your attributes. I feel like I'm pretty proficient and happy with everything. Now it's time to get punched in the face and see if I'm as mentally resilient as I think I am. It's like everything in life. When I first started running in 2020, I ran a seven kilometer, it was the longest I'd ever run. And it was painful and it was, I had a stitch and it was it felt awkward. That's the most, the, like, the big thing about when you start something, it feels awkward, like it feels really awkward and weird and like you shouldn't be doing it. And then after I did a seven kilometer, I think it was a month later, I ran a marathon. And I will say running is all mental. I really think it's all mental. Anyone can run a marathon. Anyone watching this, tomorrow could run a marathon. It may be a slow marathon, but you can run it. Whereas boxing really is the most difficult sport on earth, or combat sports are the most difficult thing on earth. Yeah, just run us through today. What are we doing next? 
I'm gonna go jump in the water, freshen up, eat a little bit, and then we're gonna go pick up my mom. It's our weekly ritual. We have weekly mother-son lunch, and then after that, I'll fill you in on the rest of the day. Right there, three days will be with my new sauna. They're just putting in the glass. It's got Wi-Fi so I can turn it on from bed. Hard Fin life. Finish up meetings, turn on the sauna, go sweat it out, jump in the cold plunge, head to bed. How many times have you been in that pool? I went in for the first time yesterday, actually. It's cold. I've been here for six months, never been in. I don't like pools. What are you gonna do in a pool, bro? It's just a big bath. We've had this argument. It's just a big bath. Right. What's up with the new car? So picked it up three weeks ago at this point. You can tell. We should actually probably just remove this now. Yeah. So basically bought this car three weeks ago. I had a last minute change of heart. Decided to change the color. Had to get the windows tinted, stuff like that. So the car was sent off for two weeks to get some work done. And yeah, it is a brand, brand, brand new Rolls Royce Phantom 2023. Yeah, stunning car. What can I say? Congratulations, bro. Out of curiosity, like how much do you pay for it? Uh, do you want to know in dollars or? Durham's dollars. So I paid. There you go. That feels like an actual car. Eight hundred and sixteen thousand US dollars. Jeez. So, but for me, listen. I remember growing up in London, and sometimes you'd be walking on streets and you see people get out of cars, and they'd have a chauffeur, they'd have a driver, and you're just like, who is that? So for me, it was always a dream to not only have a Rolls Royce, but be driven in a Rolls Royce. For me in Dubai, I don't drive. Whether it's this or the Range Rover, I'm always in the back. Dubai is honestly just a very stressful city to drive in. I don't really see the benefits. So. I thought, listen, if I'm gonna get a Rolls Royce, then no point in getting a Ghost, no point in getting a Cullinan. Might as well get the proper billionaire's car, the Phantom, which I'm definitely not one yet, but working hard every day to make sure that maybe one day I get there. Mostly uh, happy and grateful. Uh, it's every mother's wish. It's also add a little bit of extra worries or I don't know why. It's probably because it's just me or every mother's. Because you know, more successful you become, more complex your life becomes. And the other thing you, you say, well, he grew at a very young age. So it's not something that I had enough time to kind of gradually adjust to that. And at the end of the day, I play some role in it as well. Just letting him be independent young and rather than, you know, controlling him and telling him what. So it's, uh, it's uh, in that sense, it's more normal. If that makes sense? Yeah. Normal, because it's happened gradually while he was with me. But the pride, the pride, oh. I think for me and my mom both were kind of used to this because it's been years. It's kind of been years like this and even like 10 years ago, even years before I started my business. Like when I was 13 or 14, I would watch, we'd watch Apprentice or we'd watch <laughs> yeah. uh, even like Million Dollar Listing, Ryan Serhan, and I'd be like, mm. I'm going to be successful and I'm going to not go to college and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And obviously back then, it was quite difficult for you to hear, you know, to drop out of school at 17 mm. was not easy. Of course, uh, I uh, there was a time, if you remember, when you drove out of school and you were friend's parents as a personal... Personal trainer. I did say I didn't come all the way from Russia and all this for you to become a, a personal trainer. It's not that I question him. I always, deep in my heart, deep, deep, I always knew, believed in it and wanted to believe it and pray for it. And uh, to these days, I always say, also enjoy life and a force come to worse if uh, something happened, you will always start all over. You are not the, you, you have the personality. Was, was there a specific moment in like, you know, in your mom's journey where you were like, wow, like this is really taken off? Hmm. Probably not like, wow, it was to me uh, almost step by steps. Okay, he's getting there. Oh, he's doing great. Oh, he's doing amazing. If it would have happened like by luck, I would probably be like, whoa, wow, yes. But it wasn't luck. I've seen 
from his from a very young age. I'm the only one of probably, if not the only one, who seen his every journey, every hours, every days, every pretty much. I always was there for a bit. Yeah. Uh, so for me it wasn't uh, all of a sudden, wow, how lucky we're yet. No, it's, uh, I've seen the war. There we go, that's amazing. I love you. So, there's been a lot of stress, a lot of difficult decisions. Maybe it's just been a very heavy two weeks. I've been feeling very tense. So I thought, you know, why not end off the week, do something nice. And actually earlier on in the week, we took one fan in, when we were in London to Harrods, took him for like a shopping spree day. But now I thought I'd do something in Dubai. So I put out my story. I said that we'll take 10 fans and we'll take them to my friend's sneaker store. He has sneakers and a bunch of other stuff. And basically the fans get to choose their dream shoe. They get to pick out any shoe. There's hundreds of options. And yeah, just do something nice. Put a smile on your guys' face. Obviously, I appreciate you guys. I think on the main channel, we've got like 2.3 million subscribers now. And on the second channel, on the vlog channel, we've got like 70K. So I know the law you guys don't actually see, but we've done a lot of stuff with fans, with supporters this year. We've done crazy vlogs, just documenting the business, traveling out around the world, the struggle, the responsibility, but then a lot of the fun stuff as well. Make sure you tune into the second channel because we're going to continue to be doing a lot more fan stuff this year. I told you guys I'm going to give away 100% of all AdSense. This year has been a little slow. It's been like $70,000, $80,000 a month, but still, that's a hell of a lot of money to give back to you guys. So we've given away Rolexes, done shopping trips for you guys, a whole host of cool stuff. And it's, it's just a start. To all the ladies in the place with style and grace, allow me to lace these lyrical dishes in your bushes. I know that a lot of you guys came here just to say hi, which is obviously means a lot to me. Although this is something nice for you guys, I can tell you equally. It's probably more for me than it is for you guys. The stuff puts a smile on my face. You know, we're always behind our screen and it's really nice to meet a lot of you guys. And I know that a lot of you guys are gonna be like, no, I don't want sneakers, but every single one of you guys is gonna walk out here with a fucking pair of sneakers. So if you guys know nothing about sneakers, I know very little about sneakers. I'm very uncool. As you can see, I dress like a grandpa most of the time. Uh, these three gents are the ones you need to speak to. So I'm Riyad, I'm 16. He's Junaid, 14. And you said I'm 13 years old. 13, so yeah, I'm the eldest. And uh, I started when I was 12, so around four years ago. When he moved to Dubai, so we moved to Dubai around four years ago. And I actually started by selling Reese's Puffs in school. So I'd, I'd go I'd go buy them from a supermarket. It was 25 at the time, and I was flipping for 100% profit margin. I was selling for 15 in school. So uh, that's how I started. Eventually, I moved on to like clothing. Met a few people, got into a few groups, and started the website. I started an Instagram page and uh, eventually I introduced my parents to the industry and they freaked out how large it is in Dubai because you know Dubai is all about fashion and brands and sneakers and so they I introduced them to to the industry and yeah here we are I have a store now. So there we go. up honey really I'm asking most of these niggas think they be macking but they be acting who they attracting with that line what's your name what's your sign I'm Copenhagen the problem is there's a 200% tax on Thank you. imagine having to make Double the money plus you have to I quit my job because you know, I work 90 hours in consulting and then um, I, I run an agency now for one and a half months and I like tripled my income already. So you got to boxing? Yeah, recently. One month in. I, f I feel like when people ask me and they're like, oh, how's boxing? I feel like a professional fighter or something, but no, I'm just a month in. I was talking to Axe, he was like, bro, get the air force. <laughs> bro, I was gonna get the air force, and he was like, no. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't do that. So he's like, bro, you come all the way here to choose white, white air force? Yeah. You don't feel like you're not. Bro, I'm gonna be honest, bro. bro. I, I, I'm gonna be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> this is regular white air force? Yeah, no. You, you, you don't like those, do you? I don't like these for girls. I don't like any of the other ones for girls. I those think ones? Yeah. Specific? Your mom, it, I think cold this on your mom. One you think so? Yeah, yeah, come on, bro. Yeah. I don't know if my mom can pull this off. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think I would. Uh, it's not my style uh, anyway. But mm. to the airport, I would wear it. <laughs> I mean. And I, by the way, you know if sneakerheads heard you right now, yeah, they, they'd, 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 they'd like die. What? People who are into sneakers, uh -huh. they probably even get upset the fact that I wear these. People don't wear this. They hang it up. Yeah. And you um, make sure you put in other drinks and stuff like that. Come on, man. You guys are too good to be rough. 
Don't leave your girl around me, true player for real. Act tough, dad D. You can bring your bells with Max from Chanel. I, th th that's his present for you. That for me? Th that's for you? Oh, that's that's another for us. Oh, okay. He has a gun for me, man. <laughs> okay, because I was, I was going to say that's no, hilarious, bro. He hates cigars. <laughs> really? So I thought uh, when you got him. This cigar? <laughs> Really? Yeah, no, I hate too much, bro. Okay, you but can I, give I it to someone it. else. No, thank you, though. I accept it. Bro, that's yeah, a fucking nice cigar. Bro. Thank you, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I appreciate you. I think they're massive inspirations, honestly, to do what they've done at that age. Yeah. Listen, there's a difference, there's a big difference between having an online business, and sure, maybe you've got people that work for you in different parts of the world and this and that, but like, that's one thing, having a physical store is a different level of responsibility. Like, having to come into store every single day, show up, deal with the team, it's a yeah, different kettle, so. Big, big, big props to them, honestly.